Demi Lovato is still recovering after her overdose on Tuesday. We're gonna give you the latest updates and tell you who's been by her side. I'm Hunter March and you're watching The Daily Report. Last Tuesday, Demi Lovato was taken to the hospital because of an overdose. By Tuesday night, her publicist had reported that she was awake. But news started to come in about what could have led to this incident and it seems Demi has been battling some demons of her own for a while now. In a documentary released on YouTube last year, she opened up about her issues with addiction and eating disorders, which led to rehab about six years ago. There, she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, but she was seeking the help she needed and found herself on a hard path to recovery. She had celebrated six years of sobriety back in March, but it seems that last month she relapsed. One source revealed to People, quote, things have been a total mess for months. She and her team severed ties and they played a large part in getting her sober years ago. She hasn't been in a good place. Which could be what led to the incident on Tuesday night along with her ongoing battle with depression and anxiety. Demi and her friends have been reportedly partying for several months now and partied for 12 hours straight before the overdose. Now that she's recovering, one source said, quote, this is obviously a huge wake-up call. Demi doesn't want to die and she's very grateful to be alive. She will be leaving the hospital and heading straight to rehab. Her family has been by her side supporting her and is getting her the help she needs. Thankfully, since Tuesday night, Demi has had the support of her family as well as ex-boyfriend Wilmer Valderrama. He's been there for two days now and it should be no surprise. The two dated for six years from 2010 to 2016, which was right in the thick of her addiction and recovery. In 2015, when she celebrated three years of sobriety, she wrote on Instagram that she wouldn't be alive today without Wilmer. One source close to the actor said he knew about her relapse because she had been pretty open with everyone about it, including releasing her new song, So Sober, which was about relapsing. But Wilmer did not realize that it was this bad. Due to the hospitalization, Demi had to cancel a show in Atlantic City, but that didn't stop fans from showing up to voice their support for the singer. On Thursday night, fans gathered outside of the venue to sing Sober as a tribute to the singer, and it is quite moving. Demi's friends are also speaking out to show their support, like Joe and Nick Jonas, who tweeted words of encouragement saying, all of us love her and need to pray for her to get well. She is a fighter. Now, as of right now, Demi is still in the hospital recovering, and we wish her all the best on this journey that she's on, but we want to hear from you guys. Give her your words of support in the comments down below, and as always, make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV for the latest updates. I'm Richard March, and Demi, get well. We love you.